Look, here, we're gonna, we're having such a good time, but <laughs> now you're gonna have to answer for Sonny on the causeway. Okay, so um, I'm just saying, because stand up, you're one of 11 senators mm -hmm. who voted not to certify the last election. Okay, one of 11. Do you think Biden didn't win? Look, Biden is clearly the president. Well, that's not the question or the answer. <laughs> Do you think he won? Was it a fair election? No, no those are very different questions. Okay. The, 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 did he win and is he the president? Yes. Was it fair? Look, there were lots of things that were unfair about the last election. But it's been combed over more than any election ever, even by the people on your side, and they say it's not. This is from your book. You say, Democrats, whose capacity for shamelessness never ceases to astound me, were no longer willing to play by the rules of democracy. Now, I know you're funny now, but is that a joke? <laughs> The Democrats don't want to play by the rules so, of democracy? What was the context before and after that? I'm sorry, the one sentence I'm not remembering. Uh, well, that, I, don't, I don't know, but you wrote that. The, I, the Democrats okay. are no longer willing to play by the rules of democracy. I wanted to read it because I feel like it's the exact opposite all right, all right, of so, what I think, which is that the Republicans, including you, January 6th, et cetera, are the ones who are no longer willing to play by the rules of democracy. It seems like... <laughs> wait, wait. Let's, it seems like your idea has switched in the Republican Party to elections only count if we win. And then we will endlessly litigate them, even though your own, it was laughed out of court, like 60 different courts. I mean, all, we have the, the secretaries of state, even the Republican ones, everybody said your, Trump's own election people said it was the, one of the most fair, well-run elections ever. Why won't you let it go? So, Bill, you're the one that's not letting it go. You're the one that's asking about it. But, but let me be clear about something. I'm asking about your history. I, listen, I believe passionately in democracy. And, and I also believe voter fraud is a real and persistent problem. And it's weird that Democrats it's have not. taken the view... It's been studied. Okay, so you don't think it is. But you know what? I have it, never once seen you or, or any other host ask Hillary Clinton why she said in 2016 that Donald Trump was an illegitimate president. I've never seen... You asked Democrats why they objected to the presidential certification in 2001. That was George W. Bush. Okay. In 2005, that was George W. Bush. And in 2016, that was Donald Trump. And so I don't think we should be... Okay, they... Have they, a they, double standard here. Uh, okay. Well, there is a double standard because there's two different things going on. One is a remonstration, a mild protestation of something. They did, Al Gore was the head of the Senate at the time. He had to pass the baton in an election. He knew he won... And his... He, he knew and, he won. And the Wait, other are you an election denier? You just said Al Gore won that election. Well, he... Okay, he did not win. I mean, he won, I'm your sorry, you're right, you're right. I, I meant to say he won the popular vote. But, won, but that's not yes, actually Yes, I understand. I president. understand. But the other candidate's brother stopped the count. Okay, or, that's, that is, or, that's not accurate. The Supreme Court stopped the count. His own brother w ran that election in his Florida, which was His brother was the governor where, of Florida. You know, they counted okay, the votes... Okay, well, hold on, hold on a second. I mean, facts matter. They counted the votes four times in Florida. Okay. George W. Bush won all four times. I was part of the legal team litigating the, that case, so the, I, w I was intimately involved in Bush versus Gore. Bigger, Every time they counted the votes, Bush won. The bigger point is that Al Gore took one for the team. He came out and said, okay, you know, this was a really fucked up election, but this is America. The jewel in our crown is that we pass power peacefully, and I'm not going to be the first guy not to do that. Nixon let it go in yep. 1960. That could have been a, a I, I screwy agree. election. And Hillary came out in her goddamn purple suit. <laughs> so she did it before the sun rose. She did it before the cock crowed three times. She came out and said, Trump is the president. That's what you guys will not do. Joe Biden is the president. What do you mean we won't do it? I'm fighting him every day, and he's screwing up the country and the world. So <laughs> I'm quite aware Joe Biden's the president. I wish he wasn't, but it's not lost on me who it is that caused a war in Europe with Ukraine that, that, that gave $100 billion to Iran and the terrorists Wait, he attacking caused Israel. the war in Ukraine? Yes. Do you want to know how? No, but next time. Thank you, Ted <laughs> Cruz. I got it. All right, thank you. That was spirited. Come back and see us. I look forward to it. All right, I'll see you on overtime. We can finish it up. Ted Cruz.